L'Hopital's Rule, Part 1. Given a limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches a, and the fact that f of a equals g of a equals 0, or both f of x and g of x goes to, go to infinity as x heads to a, uh, then the limit of f over g equals the limit of f prime over g prime. Okay, what this really says is that if we get 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity on a limit, which is an indeterminate form, in other words, we can't, they're working against each other, uh, the 0 over 0 or the infinity over infinity, an indeterminate form, then we can simply take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom and try again. Now, this, this is not the quotient rule. That's a very important thing to remember. For example, if we have a limit of 1 minus cosine x, uh, over sine x as x heads to 0, what we're going to get when we just plug 0 in to see what happens is 0 over 0. Well, that's an indeterminate form, and it also uh, satisfies the uh, conditions for L'Hopital's rule. So we can use L'Hopital's rule to help find the limit here. In other words, I'm going to take the derivative of this over the derivative of this and try the limit again. So we apply L'Hopital's rule. And when we do that, we get the limit of sine x over cosine of x as x heads to 0. Just take the derivative of this and the derivative of that. If you need to stop the movie and do it, go ahead. And now we plug 0 in. We get 0 over 1. Well, that is 0. And so that's our answer. The limit of 1 minus cosine x over sine x as x heads to 0 equals 0. You might get out your graphing calculator and uh, put a number in very, very close to 0 and see what number you get. And if it's very, very close to 0, then this is probably true. In fact, it is true. But um, make sure your uh, calculator is set in radians, not degrees. And we've got another example here, uh, example 2. <clears throat> Here we have the limit of 1 minus 4x to the third power over this uh, other cubic uh, polynomial as x heads to infinity. And what happens here, the top is going to get bigger and bigger in the negative sense, and the bottom is going to get bigger and bigger in the positive sense. So we have negative infinity over infinity. Uh, so we're stuck with that kind of indeterminate form. We don't know what's happening. So, But again, we can apply L'Hopital's rule because it is infinity over infinity. And that's what we're going to do. So I take the limit here, and uh, I, I take the derivative of the top and get negative 12x squared. The derivative of the bottom, which is 9x squared minus 2. And I, again, have infinity over infinity. So what do we do? We simply apply L'Hopital's rule again. And here we do it again. Here we take this, and we take the derivative, and we get negative 24x over 18x, which reduces to negative 4 thirds. So it has no x is left in there. So the limit as x heads to infinity of negative 4 thirds, or constant, is just the constant, negative 4 thirds.